drinking more water, exercising more, sleeping more, reducing stress or generally the tips that people give you on YouTube didn't work for you, then this video is for you. Hi guys, it's me Jodi. Today I'm back with another very requested video. Just because I'm Asian and have a clear skin, a lot of people think that my clear skin is something genetic. I struggled with acne over 8 years. I'm currently 20 now and I got my first acne when I was 12. Ever since then, I struggled so freaking much with acne and now, after 8 years, finally I cleared my skin. As you can see, my skin is glowing. I mean, I hope so. Today, I'll split this video into four parts. We'll be talking about my acne background, what did work, what didn't work, and how I did clear my skin. Everything will be timestamped down in the description below, so check it out and don't lose time. So let's get started. Firstly, let's talk about my acne background and let's talk about the acne type that I had. And the acne type that I had, according to my dermatologist, was something hormonal plus caused by stress. If you don't know, I'm a medical student and from my childhood, I always wanted to become a doctor. In my middle school, I was visiting private middle school. I had 50 to 75% off scholarship because I had so good grades. And in high school, I went to my dream high school, which is one of the best high schools in Turkey. I'm not saying these to brag about my grades, whatever, but I, from my childhood, I was always stressed to get good grades. I was stressing myself so freaking much because I had so high expectations for myself and I was always making myself stressed. So it, of course, affected my skin. As you can see, my skin was so, so freaking Bad. And I tried so, so, so many things to cure this acne that we are about to talk about. If you ever searched on YouTube about how to get clear skin, you'll probably hear from YouTubers who have a glass skin. They always say drink more water, exercise more, change your diet, etc. So let's talk about those. Drinking more water. I actually tried drinking more than two liters for six months and now, the only thing that changed was the frequency that I went to toilet. And the second one is changing diet. I tried eating super healthy. I went even vegetarian. I also went vegan, but those things didn't clear my skin as well. Third one, exercising more. I was exercising 30 to 6 minutes, five times a week approximately, doing cardio, doing weightlifting and stretching yoga and a bunch of stuff. However, it didn't clear my skin as well. I tried going to bed every single day at 9 p.m for six months or so and i was waking up around 5 5 5 30 a.m ish i tried that as well but it didn't clear my skin as well after trying these fancy stuff out there i said okay there is something wrong with me i visited several dermatologists and i use their medication i use their creams i use the stuff that they give to me but nothing worked like literally nothing worked for me. I couldn't find a dermatologist who was caring actually about my acne, not the amount of the money I paid to them. I just said, okay, dermatologists are not caring about my acne. The only thing that they care is my money. I stopped visiting my dermatologist and that day I become a skincare whore. I tried every single product that you can ever imagine on market and not only in Western market, but also in the Asian skincare market. I found a lot of good products that worked for my skin, but those effects were not long term. All of the effects that I had was very short term and my acne came back every time my period came. One day when I was scrolling through YouTube, I saw a video from a Japanese dermatologist Tomori Arata, who is one of my favorite YouTuber slash dermatologists out there. She was telling in one of her videos that skincare is something supplementary and you cannot cure your skin problems with your skincare. If you have acne, you, you cannot completely clear it with skincare. You have to go to a dermatologist and whatever they prescribe to you. Okay, so now let's talk about how I cleared my skin. Is I found a super, super nice dermatologist and I went to his clinic and then he looked into my skin and I talked about my acne background. We decided to start a medication called Roaccutane or isotretinoin as some people call or 
Accutane. Accutane is a serious drug prescribed by dermatologists. You shouldn't be using Accutane if your dermatologist didn't prescribe to you. You shouldn't. You shouldn't because it's a very, very, very serious drug. Accutane is intense. Here, I'll put the side effects of the Accutane. However, let me read some of the scary side effects of the Accutane. Depression, headaches, hair loss, neurological symptoms, vision problems, nosebleed, rapid breakdown of muscle tissue, blood disease, and a lot of lot of scary side effects. It's very scary drug and it's pretty intense, but my dermatologist said you tried everything, but nothing worked for you. So this is the last solution that you can use and let us try. And here is my Accutane journey. Accutane has different milligrams on your situation of your acne. The milligram that you take differs. So for me, for example, we started with 20 milligrams and then we increased to 40 milligrams. When we started to use 40 milligrams, I literally was feeling so depressed. So we decreased to 20 milligrams. Okay, so first two months of the Accutane intake is over. Now we're moving to the third month. I think my skin got much more clearer, but look at my skin. Like my lips are so crusty and they're all the time so freaking dry that it hurts. I put a lip balm on it, but it still hurts, especially when I eat something spicy. My lips so freaking hurts. Like, look at those lips. They look pretty weird. Also, whenever I apply a lipstick, it looks horrible. So I only apply lip gloss and yeah, this is my skin. I think my skin looks much more better, especially my acne scars. I'm currently using Tamano oil. I'm continuing to use it every single day. I think it really helps with the scars. Yeah, this is the end of the month too. Look at this huge forehead. Let's talk about the mental and physical side effects of this Accutane. So firstly, my back pain is so freaking bad. I mean, my back is always hurting like a grandma and I'm just like, oh, tired all the time. I'm not really motivated, but I wouldn't recommend for somebody who is going to take like a very important exam during like the exam season to take this medication because it's you're like all the time, like so drowsy and I like, I want to sleep so bad and I just miss my bed every single minute of the day. So yeah, that's the effect. I don't have any other side effects than the tiredness and the back pain and also whenever I do a workout my muscles hurt so much the muscle pain is also like pretty intense um, but you know at the end of the day your skin is getting clearer and clearer which really helps with the intake of the medication so I'm really looking forward to finish Accutane and have a baby skin okay so I just entered the fourth month as you can see, my skin got cleared so much, but my lips are super, super, super crusty. The thing that I don't understand is that I knew the side effects of Accutane is like really crusty lips, but why my upper lip, especially here, is getting this crusty? I just don't understand it. I thought my lips are here, not here. As you can see, my lips are bleeding. It hurts quite a lot. And you can see my acne scars. And overall, I think my skin looks much more brighter. And when it comes to the side effects, let me say that, yes, when you compare to the other months, I am more lethargic and I'm more sleepy, but I kind of like stopped working out. When you take Accutane, after every single workout you've done, you got so sore and you couldn't move like for a couple of days. So I just kind of like quit running. Instead of that, I'm walking and I'm also doing more low impact workouts here and there but most of the time i just do like random squats and random like leg lifts during my study sessions and yeah that's what i do right now i'm not really active but i think my body kind of needs to rest a little bit generally i'm pretty <laughs> lethargic but you know I don't have motivation, but I've never had motivation, so I hope my acne scars will disappear. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied. 
so i'm currently on my sixth month and as you can see i have still have like some acne scars and here i have a blemish my skin is definitely not perfect but i think it looks decent and as a mental state, I'm feeling okay. My lips are kind of dry a bit. I mentally, I don't have any problems with motivation or I don't feel depressed at all. I'm super energetic and I'm super positive towards life. And yeah, it's the sixth month of the Accutane. I kind of got used to its like side effects like dry lips dry skin sensitive skin overall but i'm feeling good and the only thing that i regret is not starting accutane earlier i'm not encouraging you to start Accutane, I'm encouraging you to visit a dermatologist. Accutane is a serious drug and you should definitely visit dermatologists in order to use that. Don't ever start it by your own self. You like visited a couple dermatologists and they weren't like really caring about your skin. Don't give up, visit another dermatologist. Don't like try weird methods that you saw on like YouTube or on social media, whatever. Just visit a dermatologist and ask them what you can do about your skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I get a lot of DMs about my skincare. Even though I said skincare will not cure your skincare problems, it's something supplementary. You should supply your skin with a good proper skincare. If you like this video, you'll, you'll probably like my skincare routine video, which I'll put here so that you can watch that video as well. And if you enjoyed this video, let me see you in my next video. Bye-bye.